I'm Mr. Schrader and I want to talk to you today about our um, latest project in fourth grade. It's called our Famous Kansans Project. I've had quite a few questions about it, so I thought I would take some time and post a quick video explaining exactly what it is we're looking for in this. Um, the project has four main parts. Um, the first part being a research paper. Now every student has been assigned a famous Kansan that they are going to be responsible for knowing the insides and outsides of that person. In fact, they're going to have to become that person a little later on. So the first part is that they have to um, do a research project. Now, in this page in the packet, it explains the four parts. We're going to start with the upper right hand side, the, the written research paper. Their job is they're going to write a five paragraph essay explaining uh, what, it, what their uh, famous Kansan was all about. So the first part will be an introduction and uh, the thesis sentence, the main sentence of their introduction is already written for you. It says, I'll tell you some background information, why this person is famous, and many interesting facts. So give a little bit of an introduction, say that sentence, and that sets up the rest of the paper. The next paragraph, the second paragraph, is your first main idea, and that's background information. When and where were they born? Give me some idea of what it was like for their childhood or, or their family life. Um, explain uh, where they died or that kind of stuff. Uh, the second main idea, which is your third paragraph, is to tell me why that person is famous. Why are we having fourth graders write a paper on this person? Um, uh, what makes them so special? And the last main idea, the third main idea, or your fourth paragraph, is to give me more background information, so more facts about this person. They need to have at least seven facts in that paragraph. And then finally, your fifth paragraph is a conclusion. Um, you need to, when you're writing, there is a powerful writing tree uh, where you write your introduction, you write your main ideas, and your supporting details for each of those uh, main ideas, and your conclusion out here. This is a very important step to the way we write in fourth grade because it keeps our writing very organized. Also, this is a research paper. These fourth graders are not the source of information. They need to identify and cite their sources that they're using. So that's what this last paper is for. It's a source log. So if they use an encyclopedia, they'll need to find the one that says encyclopedia. If they're using it online, uh, like uh, our Britannica encyclopedia, that's right here. Uh, if they're using an online database like the um, Kansas Historical Society, that would be this one. And they need to fill out all of the information for those sources so that when we go back and, and look at their research, we can identify they got information from these different places. So a five-paragraph paper. Now that is due on February 1st. Um, the students should have a countdown going in in their planner about how many days they have to do this. The second part of our famous Kansan project is that they need to make a clothespin character. They'll be given a clothespin, and it looks like this, and they need to make their uh, character out of this clothespin. So we've got a head, it's kind of the skeleton of the body. So they can use materials, they could use construction paper, scrap, fabric. They need to make this look like their famous Kansan in some way. Um, so if you had Dwight D. Eisenhower, you're not going to make him look like he's got jeans and a t-shirt. You're going to put him in a suit. Um, and then when you're done with this, you need to use some sort of box, maybe a shoe box or something, and create a diorama. Um, a diorama is a setting for our famous Canton. Um, so if I'm using my example of Dwight D. Eisenhower, maybe I make the diorama look like his Oval Office. Um, something that gives me more information about our famous Kansan. So when we're done, we'll have a written research as well as a diorama with a character inside of it. Um, the diorama will be due on February 7th, so a week after our research paper is due. Um, the last part of our, and then we'll have to, uh, after the 7th, we'll have a presentation in class where the students will be able to present that information. The last part, which the dates aren't quite set in stone yet, we want to make sure we, we get to that um, and make sure it happens well, is that the students will have to become their character. So if my character is, or my famous Kansan, I'm sorry, is Dwight D. Eisenhower, then I'm going to become Dwight D. Eisenhower and I'm going to appear in a living museum, which means I will dress up 
like my famous kings. I'll dress up like Dwight D. Eisenhower. I will have a monologue memorized, and I will have an artifact to explain the famous kings. And I'll have a, a little decorated podium, which we'll have more instructions on later. So all of those activities um, are done in an order, um, and that's the big project. Now this project is different than um, the project that we've done in the past. We did uh, a National Monuments project, our uh, National Treasures project in the fall, but it's very similar. Um, so the process that we're following is very similar to that. However, this project, unlike that one, is done majority on students' time. While, we're, while they're working on their projects at home, uh, we'll be studying Kansas history in class. So it, it mirrors what we're working on this month. Um, I hope that gives you some more information about what we expect. Um, we're going to expect the students working pretty hard on this using different sources. We live in the capital city of Kansas, so there's all kinds of sources like the Kansas Historical Society at the library. Uh, the, Topeka, uh, the Topeka Shawnee County Library has great sources. Um, they also have their reference department. There's online sources. There's the Kansas History Museum. Um, all kinds of sources. We'll also be having sources come in. Um, we have the library coming to give a presentation on Famous Kansas, but we will not be giving a, a lot of time in class to work on this project. It's, it's done mostly on students' own time. I hope that's a help for you guys to at least get you some clues as to where we're going with this. Thank you.